much of a advantage for Tlia. I honestly think the Ari benefits more in this matchup, but obviously we'll right. be happy to take it. And let's do it. This, you know what? Why Lock not? Lock it in. Why not? Just try. Just, just give it a shot. Yep, there it is. Vein top. Yeah, they're gonna give themselves a good crack at a game number two. We'll see if that does lead them in the right direction, or if it looks a bit like game number one, as Vein Top gonna hit the rift for the first time this split, as we hop onto it for game number two. Jinji, oh no, do reset. Jinji, fighting. Long Shim Red Force. Oh no, do reset. Long Shim fighting. Yes. There is a ward in that bush. Dinden also uh, pings it out after seeing the interaction. Um, nice little level one here from Jiu and oh. Peter. Uh, and I believe it was on the other side, it was Lahen. Lahen. Oh. Um, okay, he's gonna flash this one. It's not gonna matter. First blood goes over to Peter on the bottom side of the map, just like that. Yeah, good start. And I believe Jiu just got some, got a decent amount of gold there, but it was actually, yeah, it was uh, Peter who got the kill. I think Jiu might have had the, what's it called? The uh, treasure hunter. I think I saw the 70 gold pop up. So Jiu getting some extra money, even though he didn't get the kill. Uh, and yeah, Ari a pretty high win rate, and we'll see if that can be maintained here. Big picks as we gotta talk about this. It's been almost 1,500 days since QV lost to Kana in the top lane. Look at this gank though in mid. The charm comes down. This is super clean from the side of Nongshim, but where's the damage? It's not gonna come through. It finally does, oh. but they nearly both die as Fiesta is still taking damage from the cannon, jeez. Yeah, don't die. That would be bad. Um, they managed to get the kill on the Chovy, which is nice, but the, with the trade back, I don't think Chovy's that bothered, and he nearly actually just got a double kill. Maybe just a bit more pranking, you know, coming up, trying to help Keen get through the early stage of the lane, and here he is once again. And it's down Tumble. He can condemn Canyon here. Yeah. And the Q is going to miss as well, doesn't even have to cast it. Yeah. If, G, if that Q hit, could have been a lot of damage coming through. And yeah. Fiesta's moving down. They're going for that proactive angle. Yeah, and this one is a different situation from game number one, where Nongshim were getting wrecked in the top lane, and the mid lane was Cassidy. So if you give it to Leah free farm for a little bit to put on some pressure, it's actually probably fine, especially compared to a Cassidy. As once again, trying to make this play happen, the handshake does come through as Canyon is here, but it's still going to be a flash forced away from Pace, and they're losing a bunch of uh, minion XP and gold here under the turret. Yeah, they're getting zoned out so hard. Canyon's going to try and chase and make something more of this. We actually do see Chovy's going to be first to the bot lane. This could be a difference maker. Yeah, but does have Fiesta right behind him. The flash charm is not going to land. Fiesta trying to make a difference. You know, I love the idea, but yeah, it just didn't, didn't quite connect. Should see eventually that Dundon will take down turret plates, and just the pressure alone is going to be a lot as stuns come in. The handshake hits the red buff, and that's not going to feel very good. But Canyon's still in a bit of trouble, has to ward hop away. Yeah. And Matovi coming up as well. Oh, you got to back away, Dundon. You don't even need to be stepped up here. Yeah. And the wall will come down. It is a bit short, so he just kind of walks away and tumbles out of that one. But now he's stunned up against the wall! the end of him and the three of them should be able to take out the vein that's what genji have gotten on the top side i would still like to see them go for it though i think oh dun dun yeah he's um he doesn't have any sums so even the slow is going to be really uh a big issue for him and I eventually he just gets run down i feel like you have to anticipate this you know they're going to be on the top side you could have gone you could have gone bottom just picked up wolves in the meantime you could have just waited at your tier two you know your team are going for an aggressive play on the bot side, you just shouldn't have walked up. So the cooldown is a fair bit longer. Um, and we're dragging up in a minute, burning that pretty substantial. No aftershock for Sylvie might be a bit of an issue for him, but now the Magnus Storm does come in and Canyon doesn't seem to care. He's got the Sundered Sky and he's so tanky, he's healing up all the damage that's going on into him. Charm lands again and he's just going back in. He doesn't care at all as Fiesta just does not have the sustained damage to take him down. And even a wall is going to come out here. Maybe Canyon dies now. Now he's just going to flash away. And Fiesta actually is going to live. Has a bit of a bailout and will be just fine. Meanwhile, on the top side, Dundin going 1v2. As the Q sweet spots are not quite landing, but Dundin just doesn't have the damage right now into Keen. And the 2v1 will work out for Gen G. Oh, Pace does have sums. And he's going to flash away, but that's Callista following on the flash. And the hop on over. Another Q to land, but. Not going to continue chasing. Yeah, got to feel a bit frustrating. 
frustrating for Nongshim not getting those kills onto both Lee Sin and uh, the center there made things so difficult. And actually, Edge of Night Rush. Chovy in a bit of trouble here. No Unraveled Earth, and Sylvie is on the way as well. He does dodge everything, and there's a big shield, a potential burst, but with the jump in, it is going to be enough. He's getting worried for him there, though, uh, for Fiesta, but he will be okay. But regardless, as we're once again up in the top lane bullying Dindin, Din, and down he will go. Hayes does tank that up nicely. Yeah, uh, Vayne Top, perhaps not. All right, well, we're trying to bully another top laner. This time it's not the Vayne, as the kick is very, very nice from Canyon. And look at Toby, he's not even joining. He's like, yeah, you got this, Canyon. I don't need to be here. Q, one time? No, nope, not going to hit. Oh, Flash man. gets it done. And That's cheating. Fiesta. <laughs> yeah, Fiesta's like, come on, man. Yeah. Gentleman's game. So if you're kind of blaming Dundun for dying along the top lane, it's not just him. And also, even if he had three dashes, it still wouldn't be enough. Is he going to be here on time? Is also another question. King just gets back over the wall. They spot him now. And the sticks are in the cloud. Drake, this should be easy for Callista Rel, but now a massive wobble combo comes in. Canyon doesn't care. He goes forward. The Devourer comes through, and Paze is going to live. Dinan is getting some good damage into that back line, and now Keen is going to go down. Chovy's here all alone and still can't take out Dinan. And he's going to be taken down. The charm is huge after the flash there from Chovy. And Ongshim, they get a Drake, they get two kills, and they're running at the Baron. And now Dinan's just getting, making progress in the side lane. Oh, now we have a big knockup coming in, and now Peter's going to be isolated. Fiesta does make his way in now as Canyon is in that back line. Jiu's in a lot of trouble here as the Q will be followed up on the bailout coming out, but a little bit too little and too late. Genji find their angle, and yes, Dundin is up in the top side. He's still hitting that inner turret, but doesn't feel like Genji really cared too much about it as the Lee Sin a bit out of range there. Canyon not able to follow up, and Keen also not able to get the kill done. I mean, they do see him. So let's see how they deal with this one. Once again, it's a very similar position to the last fight. As again, the same engage comes through and Pace is just dead. He's in the front line. A huge Q comes through from the a Aatrox here as Keen trying to do it all by himself, but he's not going to be able to. And now Dundin trying to move forward here. He nearly gets knocked up, but that should be Cloud Soul here for Gnomeshim. Another big fight win for them. Yeah, huge engage once again from Sylvie. They're nailing the combo, and you can see why they had the priority on this duo together. So much value now. Dindon's fishing. It's true. <laughs> Your range just gets so incredibly large. As Oh, God. That is just one way to win the team fight as well. As Fiesta's is like, well, I'm not even going to bother. Pressing my buttons. Didn't even look like he had time, as it was perfectly timed. Oh. All right, the wall's going to come down here as well. Just trying to keep Sylvie out of the pit. It does look like, and let's see if they, yeah, he's not even going to go for it. In the 4v5, they're just going to let the Baron go. And now the Q is going to land here down onto Sylvie. He's just trying to hop away and get away from them, but they're on the wrong side of the rift. As Gen Z say, okay, cool, you can be behind us. We're yes, just going to push being. mid. As, yeah, the TP is going to come in. But look at the damage that Sylvie's taken already is he's just going to go down for free. And now they don't have a jungler here. Jiu also having to flash away. The charm is blocked perfectly by Lahens. And Fiesta not able to do anything. Genji sticking true as a five-man unit. Managing to find that kill on the Sylvie. And the thing is, because we didn't get that set up, time and... Oh, I think he well. sees you. <laughs> and they're just stopping the backs here. They're just allowing them to, uh, you know, the teammates to come in. Oh, a very God. nice angle on the kick as Fate's Call will come out. Jiu is desperate on the bailout, but it will not matter. This Gen G now pushing mid with their Baron buff. And we had, uh, well, oh, we have an engage from Renata Glass. Kind of unfortunate, but uh, all of our Renatas try to do this. Sylvie trying to get in there, trying to catch them off guard with the counter engage. Not really going to work out. They do get the flash out of Jovi, but it is a free feign kill on the backside of this fight. As here comes Lahans on the engage, and now Sylvie will be the second one to go down. Penta angle potentially here for Keen as he is on the double. As uh, there it is, triple coming in, and that's going to be a steal from Pays. So no Penta this time around, but it still should be the 2-0 from Gen G. Canyon, he's got a GA. This time he actually can't just run at them with no fear in the world. As down will go the Nexus turrets, and down will go Nong Shim. As Gen G do pick up the 2-0 tonight. Uh, yeah. Oh god, what have I done? I gotta get out of here. Yeah. You know, it was pretty even for a lot of the game, and then it just kind of feels on a coin. It's like, okay, well. 
we win now.